Hi, my name is Michael Swartz. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use parent constraints to pick up an object in Maya. So here I have a rig that has IK and FK controls for the arm, and I just want to make sure that my IK is active because picking up an object is really difficult to do using FK because there's a lot of counter animation involved. So I do have IK um, activated here, and I'm just going to activate my, an my character animation set over here to make it easier to key. And now I'm just going to move these IK handles inward and down and get them into position. Okay, and then we'll rotate the wrist down. Just curl the fingers a little bit. Okay, so the next step is uh, to just uh, set a keyframe for everything, and now we'll move forward maybe to frame 10, and uh, we'll just look down and maybe. Rotate this just a little bit and bend it. Okay, so we go from frame 1 to 10, and it just looks down a little bit. Maybe pause for a brief moment, so it's a hold frame from 10 to 15. Okay, and now uh, we'll go from frame 15 to frame 25. That's another 10 frames. And we'll just uh, bend this down like for and move it forward. And then the arms are going to come forward as well. Okay. Now this hand I'm going to just rotate so that it's um, underneath and I think I'll move the anvil a little bit closer. Okay, and we'll have to move this down because we don't want to hyperextend the arm. Okay, and then we'll curl the fingers a little bit more. And this hand will rotate. And we may have to add a frame in between so it doesn't um, interpenetrate with the geometry. Okay, so there's our our pickup pose. I'll set a key there as well. Actually, it works pretty well. Okay, so you might think that 
the wrists should be driving the anvil, but it's actually the other way around. We want to animate the anvil, and that will in turn move the arms, the arm IK controls. And usually when I do this sort of thing, I like to keep the geometry separate and on its own so I can continue to move it around if I need to. And I put the animation and constraints on offset groups that are containing that geometry. So select the anvil, hit control G, and I'm just going to go over here to the outliner and press F to frame up on that new group. And I'll rename it GRP, uh, Geo, Anvil, Anim, Offset. Okay, and this is actually what we're going to animate. And the pivot point right now is at the 0, 0, 0 origin, so let's just center the pivot there. So we'll go to Modify Center Pivot. Okay, and next, uh, all we do is select the Anim Offset group, and then Shift Select the IK controls, and we'll go up to Constraint, Parent Constraint, Options, make sure Maintain Offset is checked on, click apply and notice we get an error okay so we can't add anything to this IK because the um, the rotations are locked and hidden and the translate uh, fields are um, also they have keys on them and we don't want to mess around with that so <clears throat> what fortunately with this rig I've created offset controls already and if you're making your own rig then you would want to have an offset group above your wrist controls as well so you can do stuff like this. So I select this control, hit F to frame up in the outliner, and you'll notice that there's an SDK or a set driven key group above that and an offset group. Uh, the offset has transforms on it already. You could use that if you wanted to, um, but I'm going to just use this set driven key one. That's fine. It's just an empty group right, right now. Well, it has the control in it, but it doesn't have any keys. So we'll select the, um, the Anvil Anim Offset group. And then uh, on the Mac, you would hit com Command. On the PC, you would hit Control to then select the SDK group of that right hand. And in the Parent Constraint Options, um, again, make sure Maintain Offset is on. And we'll click Apply. All right, and now that arm is constrained. And now we'll do the same for the other one. So I'm going to uh, disconnect or unselect, rather, the, um, the right IK control SDK, so command click on that. And now we'll command click on the um, left control. And I, I don't see it in the list very easily, so I'm just going to select that control, hit F, and there it is right there. So we'll select now the anvil and then hit up the up arrow one time to go up to the SDK, the, the uh, offset anim group. All right, and then we'll hit command and click on that SDK left and add. Okay, now um, if you select that anim group for the anvil, you'll see that the arms now move along with um, those two controllers.